So iVesda is a, a, a free app software which runs on either Apple or Android devices. Um, we've got it on a, an iPad here. Uh, and it's a way it utilizes the fact that uh, the Vesda E range has got access through Ethernet very easily using either the, uh, the Cat5 Ethernet port or a Wi-Fi connectivity. The beauty of iVesda though is that even though it's a product which is designed for the Vesda E range, because Vesda E is backwards compatible to the older product, we can have networks which are Vesda E products and the laser-based product range all under one network, all using the iVesda. So we can start to get information centrally uh, for facilities managers or people who are reacting to the Vesda. And it's a secondary level of information, the primary in interface from the Vesda to the fire alarm system, raising the alarms and, and creating the actions, and then iVesda being a way for somebody to access that information remotely. Okay. So this is a, a connection to a live network, um, and what it's showing us on here is a number of devices on that network. Pointing out a couple of key things, here is a, a VEP detector, but also on this network we've got a, a laser focus and we've got a laser plus detector. The VEP's got an alarm, we've got up here we can see we've got a fire alarm, we've got one alarm raised and the VEP is the one in alarm. And if I move into that screen we can see that actually that alarm has now gone and we can also see through the smoke trace that that alarm peaked at a certain point which we can, we can see we can zoom in and get a bit more detail on there, but that alarm has now dropped back off. If we go back to the, the main screen, what this also allows us to see is the important inf information with regard to current flow readings. So we can see that both of the, the pipes in use are at 100%. It shows us current alarm conditions, of which there are none, because we've seen that that's already disappeared. And then we can scroll all the way down to see the configuration of the detector but of a real useful feature is the two things here, the maintenance view, which shows us the status of the filter, and the event log, which allows us to look at historical information. So we can see that alarm that just occurred a moment ago, and we can review that information. But also, as I said, is that this is totally backwards compatible, and we get the same level of information even when we look at the Laser Plus. And we can see the Laser Plus had an alarm event recently, we can see the smoke current readings, the flow readings, and all of the information that we can benefit from being a VESDA E range, we get on the legacy products as well, as long as there's a VESDA E on the network.